name is Larry Flessner. I live at Carterville, Illinois. One of my hobbies is uh, sport aviation, and um, I built the uh, aircraft that you see behind us here. A home-built aircraft is one that uh, an individual or a group can build either from plans or a kit. There's a lot of kits available now, and they are licensed in the experimental category that applies to an airplane that is built in someone's garage or in a hangar, and in some cases in people's living room and dining room. Home builders in, uh, in America have a great deal of freedom in building home-built aircraft. There's almost no limit to what we can do, what we can change. There's an organization called Experimental Aircraft Association that has promoted and helped maintain that freedom uh, for over 50 years now. And uh, most home builders all belong to that organization. And it, that's the organization that has the big fly-in at Oshkosh, Wisconsin every year with over 100,000 people in attendance and 10,000 aircraft. So and it's a big home builders community out there. And uh, we, we're thankful to have the freedom to do what we love to do. Home builders as a group uh, is, a, is a very tight group of flyers. We all look out for each other and, and help each other every, every chance we get. Inside the cockpit, I have a number of patches and uh, wings uh, from my experience in uh, exploits in aviation over the years. Uh, I had a good spot to uh, display them, so I, I put them right behind the baggage area. And uh, the one unique thing, the number on the aircraft, I tried to get uh, Lindbergh's number of 211 on the Spirit of St. Louis. I was able to get 211 with my initials, so uh, I thought that was a little bit unique. Probably my introduction into actual uh, flying. Uh, we had a, a neighbor that had an aircraft that gave me my first ride when I was probably a freshman or sophomore in high school. And that sort of set the woods on fire for me as far as wanting to become a pilot and get my pilot license. I'd always wanted to uh, build my own airplane rather than uh, purchase one. Uh, and in 1990, I, uh, I bought a project that had just been started and it took me 13 and a half years to finish it. I made a significant number of changes uh, to the design is what uh, added several years to the building project but it turned out to be everything and more than what I expected you know, as far as flight characteristics and just the fun of flying. I can't really say what drove me to build the airplane other than my desire to fly and I've always enjoyed working on things, repairing, uh, designing things. There's, a, like I say, a lot of changes that I made uh, with my own design and, and uh, they all worked and I, I enjoyed coming up with solutions to problems. Sometimes when I'm flying along above the clouds and I, I kind of look around the airplane and I remember gluing parts in there, it's built out of wood and foam. Uh, and I remember it setting in, the, in my garage. It's hard to believe it's up there and flying. Great enjoyment. And you feel very disconnected from the world and you're up there all by yourself and you just enjoy the scenery, and enjoy the, uh, the clouds and, and um, all the farm fields and everything. There's always something new out there to see. It's, a, it's really an exhilarating feeling.